Mm. This week, it's kimchi fried rice. I'm going to show you how to make the kimchi. Mm. 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 Brothers and sisters, I've got something slightly different for you today. I'm going to show you a how-to on kimchi. Now, kimchi is a salted, fermented vegetable. It's really good for your gut. It's high in prebiotics and it's flipping tasty. You can use it in lots of different dishes. Follow me. Kimchi is made traditionally with Napa cabbage. Take it and slice it in half and then into a quarter. Take out the cores and then cut it into long, thin strips. Now we're going to put that into a bowl and we're going to salt it. Use some sea salt, throw it all over and then massage it in. Now pour water over the cabbage and make sure that it's filled just the top. Put a plate on the top to make sure that all the cabbage is submerged and then leave it overnight. It's best after 24 hours. And then you'll be left with this. Now we need to rinse the cabbage under cold running water to rinse off all the salt. Allow the cabbage now to drain and dry for 20 minutes. Meantime, let's get some spring onions. Take off the outside skin of the spring onion and roughly chop. Now take a daikon radish, peel and cut into batons. Thirdly, take a good thumb of ginger and grate. Now you want five cloves of garlic, we're going to turn that into a puree. To puree your garlic, add a little bit of sea salt and a little teaspoon of olive oil and that will help break it all down. Now we're going to make a chilli paste. So, take two tablespoons of Korean chilli pepper and drop it into a bowl. Then I've taken some nori and blitzed it so it's nice and fine. I'm going to use a tablespoon of that. You need a tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to add all those in and add a little bit of water to turn it into a paste. Now it's time to combine everything. The most important thing here is that your cabbage is nice and dry. If it's got water all over it, it's going to dilute the whole thing. So take your Napa cabbage, put it into a tea towel and wring out the excess water. Add in the radish, the spring onion, the garlic and the ginger, thoroughly mix and then get your chilli paste all over it. Now transfer the kimchi into a mason jar. You need to have reserved about half a cup's full worth of the briming liquor just to help the whole process and just pour a couple of tablespoons of those into the jar. Now put it on a shelf out of direct sunlight for the next 24 hours so the fermentation process can begin. Now after 24 hours open the top and allow the gases that are in there to escape and then that's ready to go. You can keep it in the fridge for up to a month and it's great as a side dish and it's so good for you. You should totally incorporate this into your diet. However, if you don't want it just as it is, then you can put it in lots of different dishes and I'm going to show you how to make kimchi fried rice. Strain off the juice from your kimchi into a bowl. Now, add to that a teaspoon of fish sauce and a tablespoon of gochujang. Mix those all in and add them into your medium hot frying pan. Now add in your leftover steamed rice and start cooking it off in the pan. When the rice is ready, throw in your spring onion, add a teaspoon of sesame oil, and then garnish with toasted sesame seeds and strips of nori. Listen, this is so good for you. It's got seaweed in it, it's got the sesame in there, and it's got the kimchi, like that's such a healthy dish. And it's really easy to make. I reckon that's gotta be 
7.50. Now let's take it to some victims. I mean customers down here. Come on. Right, you were just stuffing your faces, weren't you? So you might not have much room left. But this is kimchi, wow. fried rice. It's got nori in there. It's so good for you. Do it. No. I'm just going to stand over them threateningly to try and increase the price. <laughs> Are you having a nice day, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Especially with free food. Exactly. <laughs> now, for that whole bowl, what do you think it's worth? Six pounds. Six pounds? Yeah. Five pounds. Five pounds? Yeah. See? This is one of those dishes that you add to your repertoire and you do it when you're like, oh, I've got some rice left over, bang. Easy, quick, fast dinner, super tasty, really good for you. Go and do something else other than filming me stuff in my gob, yeah? <laughs>